Hi, so today we will study about adrenocortical hyperfunction, um, which is also called as hypercortisolism or Cushing syndrome. The adrenal cortex hormones. There are three main classifications of adrenal cortex steroid hormones. We have the glucocorticoids, the mineralocorticoids, and the androgens. Glucocorticoids regulate metabolism, increase blood glucose levels, and are critical in the physical stress response. The primary glucocorticoid is cortisol. Mineralocorticoids regulate sodium and potassium balance. The primary mineralocorticoid is aldosterone. Androgens contribute to growth and development in both genders and to sexual activity in adult women. The term corticosteroid refers to any one of these three types of hormones produced by the adrenal cortex. Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome is a clinical condition that results from chronic exposure to excess corticosteroids, particularly glucocorticoids. Several conditions can cause Cushing syndrome. The most common cause is iatrogenic administration of exogenous corticosteroids, example prednisone. Approximately 85% of the cases of endogenous Cushing syndrome are due to an adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, secreting pituitary adenoma or Cushing's disease. Other causes of Cushing syndrome includes adrenal tumors and ectopic ACTH production by tumors, usually of the lung or the pancreas, outside of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. The clinical presentation may be the first indication of Cushing syndrome. So this includes centripetal or truncal obesity or generalized obesity including supraclavicular and dorsi cervical fat pads or also called as the buffalo hump, moon face or round face, purplish red striae usually depressed below the skin surface on the abdomen, breast or buttocks hirsutism in women and menstrual disorders in women, hypertension and hypokalemia. Loss of libido is seen in both men and women. This picture shows the round moon face with thin reddened skin. Truncal obesity, broad purple striae and easy bruising on the left anticubital fossa as seen in this picture. These are the manifestations in uh, again a visual. It can uh, be seen in most body systems and are related to excess levels of corticosteroids. Although signs of glucocorticoid excess usually predominate, symptoms of mineralocorticoid and androgen excess may also be seen. As a result, blood pressure um, goes high. Corticosteroid excess causes pronounced changes in physical appearance. Weight gain from weight gain, the most common feature, results from the accumulation of adipose tissue in the trunk, face, and cervical spinal area. Hyperglycemia occurs because of glucose intolerance associated with cortisol-induced insulin resistance and increased gluconeogenesis by the liver. Muscle wasting causes weakness, especially in the extremities. A loss of bone matrix leads to osteoporosis and back pain. The loss of collagen makes the skin weaker and thinner and it bruises easily. Catabolic processes lead to delay in wound healing. Irritability, anxiety, euphoria, and occasionally psychosis may also occur. Excess of mineralocorticoids causes hypertension, secondary to fluid retention. Adrenal androgens excess may 
cause severe acne, virilization in women, and feminization in men. Menstrual disorders and hirsutism in women and gynecomastia and impotence in men occur as a result and is more common with adrenal carcinomas. Diagnostic studies Plasma cortisol levels may be elevated with loss of diurnal variation. When Cushing syndrome is suspected, a 24-hour urine collection for free cortisol is done. Urine cortisol levels are higher than the normal range of 80 to 120 micrograms in 24 hours indicate Cushing syndrome. If results are borderline, a low-dose dexamethasone suppression test is done. In a low-dose dexamethasone test, 0.5 mg is taken orally every 6 hours for a total of 8 doses starting at 6 a.m. A 24-hour urine for free cortisol is done the next day. Urine levels of 17 ketosteroids may be elevated. False positive results may occur with depression and with certain drugs. CT scan and MRI of the pituitary and adrenal glands may also be done. Plasma ACTH levels may be low, normal, or elevated, depending on the underlying cause of Cushing syndrome. High or normal ACTH levels indicate Cushing's disease of a pituitary etiology, whereas low or undetectable levels indicate Cushing's syndrome, which would be an adrenal or medication etiology. Hypokalemia and Alkalosis are seen in ectopic ACTH syndrome and adrenal carcinoma. Collaborative care. If Cushing syndrome has developed during the course of a prolonged administration of corticosteroids, like for example prednisone, the following alternatives may be tried. Gradual discontinuation of corticosteroid therapy, reduction of the corticosteroid dose, conversion to an alternate day regimen, Gradual tapering of the corticosteroids is necessary to avoid potentially life-threatening adrenal insufficiency. An alternate day regimen is one in which twice the daily dose of a shorter acting corticosteroid is given every other morning to minimize the HPA suppression or the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal suppression, growth suppression and altered appearance. This regimen is not used when the corticosteroids are given as hormonal therapy. Surgical intervention are done if it's due to adrenal or pituitary tumors. Adrenalectomy, either unilateral or bilateral, and hypophysectomy for pituitary tumors is usually done.